previously on Sailing Catalpa. We had salt water gushing into the boat and smoke filling the cabin. We just saw the bilge going off, 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 and then we came down and there's the smoke and I'm not sure what's happening with the water everywhere. We're not near the reef, are we? Something funky going on here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, the joys of being in remote Indonesia. I thought it was pretty good this time, but obviously not. It's actually really scary what's just happened. Like, we were down here asleep to be dead. Welcome to our life on the sea. We are an Australian family that fell in love with the ocean and living on a boat traveling. I'm Sarah and together with Lee and our two kids, Taj and Bella, we are documenting our travels as we sail the world one island at a time. This lifestyle is fun, adventurous, humbling and incredibly challenging, but we wouldn't have it any other way. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to our channel to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. So we just noticed the bilge was going off over and over and then we came downstairs and there's water flooding as something's happened to the pump under the sink. Oh, that's salt water. Oh, shit. Is that the valve we didn't fix? The only one. That's a, an exhaust elbow there, and I'm assuming it's either come off or it's clogged or... Salt water all over our fresh water pump in here, which is probably going to be stuff now. One positive, we found another raw honey. Oh! <laughs> man. Let's see how it's good. Put a thing over your mouth. Put a cloth over your face. There's a cloth next to you. Um, can someone just... We're not near the reef, are we? Not near anything, Dale? We're near an island. We're not far from an anchorage, which is probably a good thing. It's been a while since there's been a little bit of drama on Catalpa. You didn't think that today, did you? Hose clips blowing off here. Oh, here's the culprit here. Oh no. So there's a there's a um, vented loop here, which is the exhaust cooling manifold or so whatever it's called. But anyway, that's just blown off. Right there. And that is just bucketing, absolutely bucketing salt water mm. all over our freshwater pump. All in around our electrical under here. Oh, it's an no. Absolute nightmare. Oh, there's water everywhere. Water everywhere. Ah. So we initially thought when we heard the bilge going off that it was our water tanks leaking. Broken pipes. Oh. Like, you didn't see the water and I thought we were like sinking. Oh, honey. That was a silver lining. We got more honey. Woo, woo. Well, honey. Just bummed. We've just ruined our pump, I'd say. Like, there's that much salt water has just gone over all the electrical and the joins and everything. Can we rinse it? Oh, yeah, no. It's. I don't know. Just spray it with some fresh? Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. It's all sort of sealed and put it all together. Um, this stuff happens too often. Hey? This kind of stuff happens too often that it's not so surprising. No one's even panicking. 
They did need to clean out from under there anyway, so, you know. Yeah, it didn't need to check any 500 litres of salt water, though. Oh, baking paper! Hell yeah! Look at all these things. Even more vitamin C smell. I knew we had these. Oh. Vitamin C! Not ideal guys, it's not ideal. Going along nicely, we've got 400 nautical miles to go at least until we get to Jakarta. We haven't even checked into the country yet. We're in the middle of nowhere. This hopefully we can fix it with what we have on board. Ah. We've had a hose camp, clamp fire. We've had about I don't know how many hundreds of litres come over the floor. The bedroom got flooded out here, got flooded under the sink. Water pumps, salt water's gone over everything, which is just no good for our electrical. We'll just see how she goes. Start her up and see if we're leaking again. Feeling. Oh, fuck, that one's broken too. Believe it or not, these have been replaced, but they were just cheap ones in Langkawi, or well, the best I could find in Langkawi, and they've just rusted out. These are just like your freaking. It's all crimped funny too. These are like your um. Hose, this is like garden a hose. garden hose fitting. That's actually completely rusted away. That fitting. Let me get that joined back together. It's actually joining two different diameter pipes, but it's the one that then squashed it on the angle in there. It's <laughs> dodgy as. This is uh, the old gardening piece someone's put in. <sighs> All right, well. Here's our two, one was broken. Another one is just, it's all just, this little fitting was just, I didn't even know it was there. It was tucked up out of the way. A joiner, it's like a, it must be like a three quarter, yeah, 90 mil, three quarter inch. Um, garden hose joiner on the exhaust raw water outlet hose. I don't have another three quarter ones in light bronze or that, so I'm gonna have to reuse that until we get to our next port. I got a few couple of new hose clamps, and fingers crossed, it's yeah, just crappy old clips. I know it's there now, so I can fix it. <laughs> one sort of I don't even know why there's a join there actually I do there's two different pipes by the look of it one's slightly smaller than the other it must be one must be imperial and one must be metric I suppose oh the joys being in remote Indonesia I thought I was pretty good this time but obviously not you can never be prepared enough <laughs> You know what, we could be well, in the middle of the Indian Ocean It's right an now. old boat and it's not even just prepared enough. It's like, where do you start and where do you stop? You know, like, you can just keep spending and spending and spending and redoing and redoing until you get a new boat. But at the end of the day, everything still ages and, yeah. Oh, there's still probably lots of other hidden stuff down there that we don't know about. So, I just accidentally dropped something in the bilge 
He's not real happy with me. So I'm gonna keep recording so he doesn't yell at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. Oh, it's a hot engine. Get burnt. You got it. <laughs> I dropped that. Got it. All that little last bit was extra work. It didn't need, it was an unnecessary. But... So we're finally having a cold beer now. Um, I've rejoined all the connections that come apart, replaced the hose clamps that were corroded and just pretty much snapped under pressure. I don't know why it was under pressure, but it was actually pretty scary because from up top, I could hear the bilge running and then I looked down and there was like water just just sort of splashing around on top of the um, floor and I thought that was actual the water height had actually risen up and I thought well how's the engine even running but obviously it wasn't it was actually just trickling out onto the floor so there wasn't a great deal of water probably I don't know it might have been still 50 litres of water that come out we caught it pretty quick but um, I've just run the water maker, I've rinsed everything down. We just put a brand new starter motor in, I've salt water on that, which I'm a little bit bummed. But I've rinsed everything with fresh and I've just sprayed WD and I'm just letting it all air out now. Uh, it didn't get submerged, but it just got a little bit of splatter from where it's all run down the flooring. A little bit of TLC when we get to Jakarta and I might go over a few pipes and replace a few more pipe clamps. Most of them all been replaced but the pipe clamp quality from Malaysia was just just rubbish. I wish I had have, um, got some good ones from Australia. Um, but yeah, we're back in action. So we'll keep heading south. Take it off baby! Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> So we go swim out to our boat. She came in and had a beer with a couple we met and now we go swim out. So he's, he's gonna be a real gentleman and go get me the boat and then bring him back in. I don't know if we can, there's like waves rolling <laughs> on the shore. No, I'm just joking, we're swimming. We're both swimming. Yeah, we There was two big things hanging around. Yeah. Not my here. There's a left over here. Apparently it's a pumping wave in the right conditions. That's too small. Too small yesterday, it's too small today. It's a beautiful little island. I think we're heading off to sanding today. Lee thought he saw a mahi in the water, but it, was, it clearly wasn't. <laughs> there was a few big fish just hanging over there a second ago. <laughs> We pulled anchor and continued south. Lee had temporarily fixed the broken pipes. Well, that's what he thought. Shit. Oh. I just got to, don't know what's going on. I got a strange feeling there's a lot of back pressure somewhere in our exhaust pipe. No idea, but I'm a bit bummed. We've got a brand new starter motor in there and the whole engine bay is just getting sprayed with salt water. <sighs> Off the Sumatra coastline. Hopefully it gets sorted here because weather can just turn so bad. It's not a real good place to be stuck, but anyway. See what I can do here. Old spares. I'll do the job for that part. It's actually really scary what's just happened. Like, we are about to do a few nights and just fill in the cabin with exhaust smoke CO2. So, Shiver's lucky we sort of, Sarah's seen a bit of smoke coming up from the floor. We didn't see that and we're all asleep. Whoever was down there asleep be dead. It's pretty much just like gassing yourself, the exhaust. Um, elbow, the pipe on that has come off. It's a silent killer. 
Atalpa's trying to kill us, babe. We need a new boat. We do. Back in the engine bay and more temporary fixes by the captain. And we continued on. So we've just come into sanding. Looks really nice in here and we'd love to stay, but that weather's pretty calm. So we thought we'd try and get as south as possible. We'll hopefully stop in here on the way back up. I give in. Finally got some wits and we're sailing along uh, pretty nicely. We have a mode mess today, but we're sailing now. Just making dinner, making stir fried veggies, and some rice. But yeah, conditions are nice, it's not too crazy to be cooking, so win win. So we're just sailing along, um, motor sailing. We've got wind on the beam, but it's five or six knots, and uh, we're going about five or six knots. Heading in towards the land, we're heading towards uh, Krui today, which is at the bottom of Sumatra. We're a few days off Jakarta, uh, we had a couple of days sailing, and last night was pretty good. The night before, we had lots of squalls. But yeah, all in all, it's been alright. Just cruising along. But uh, we are about 24 hours away from Krakatau. So the volcano, uh, we were there two years ago, and then it exploded. <laughs> the interesting thing actually um, to see, because two thirds of Krakatau, I think, ended up in the ocean. So Yeah, so it, it landslided, or it, I don't think it exploded, it like slid in half or something, there was a big tsunami out of it. But we are going to show you guys, because we'll be there in roughly 24 hours. We just had heaps of wind and we thought we we're gonna fly down, but we think we we're just riding a little bit of a storm cell. It's now past. <laughs> we're still going five knots, sailing along, so that's all right. 